Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, in today's video, we're going to continue drawing the rocket ship. In the first video, we sketched out the idea. In the second video, we started drawing the rocket ship. We didn't get finished, but uh, in this video, we'll finish it up. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this and load up, open the rocket ship three. Don't save. Well, let's go ahead and save it. And this is where we left off. In the last video, we did the shadow. And so we need to do the shadow for the window, we need to do the shadow for the fins, and then we need to do the highlights. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. Let's work in the body first. Well, actually, no the window let's work in the window let's create a new layer let's call it uh, window shadow and i'm going to turn off the glass here for a minute i'm going to select this let's um first of all let's lock the body let's unlock the window so we can work on it uh, and let's go to edit mode. Now that I have it unlocked, I can select this. Oh, it's locked here too. Here we go, it's selected. I wanna hit copy, hide that layer and paste it into the shadow, V. Command V to paste. And then this, I'm, I need to change the color to a shadow color. So let's add a new color a new material fill no stroke and then we'll leave it black we'll call this shadow and um, assign boom there it is uh, I'm gonna do some rearranging here and I'm gonna put this behind this layer uh, just simply by clicking the little white arrow down and moving it. Oops. I'm gonna lock the window and now move it. Uh, and there it is, there's our shadow. Let's uh, increase the opacity. And there's the first shadow. Now we need a shadow for the glass. And, and in the glass, we will uh, employ a mask. And so let's create a new layer, call it glass shadow. Another new layer, we'll call it glass mask. Let's um, view this. I'm gonna hide the window. And in this glass layer, I'm going to select it copy it command C and paste it I'm gonna paste it in the shadow layer paste command V there it is and then paste it in the mask layer command V and there it is now in the mask layer I'm gonna change it to new material new green and then apply or assign that's our mask that is our mask let's turn it off turn on the glass the glass shadow and apply the shadow material assign boom there it is and then uh, let's look at the so right now you're not going to be able to see anything because everything's piled up on top of each other. And so I want to move the mask over, lock these layers, and I want to move it over so we can just see a sliver of that shadow onto the glass. Select the shadow, select the shadow layer, um, turn on the mask option, select the mask layer, mask, as the mask and in the mask layer 
turn off all the opacity, and then we have a problem. We just need to invert the mask, invert it, boom, and there is the shadow for the um, window. If we turn on all the layers now, we can see that if we go to like draw mode to see it, we can see that shadow inside and we can see the shadow outside. Even though this shadow might be a little too harsh, let's bring it down. And now we've got the shadow on the window. Let's do the shadow on the fins. Uh, if it bothers you guys, you can turn off each layer, the fire, and then just focus on this so that you can concentrate. And I'd like to concentrate on these fins. So let's go ahead and concentrate. I'm gonna hit save before anything else happens. Select it, there we have it selected. And again, guys, same routine. I might um, speed up the video just to, I'm gonna call this fins, just to save some time. But roughly what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create three layers one for the shadow, one for the mask, and then create the materials, the shadow material, the mask material, and mask it. Um, all right, I'm gonna speed up a little bit of this process, guys, and I'll see you right before I hit the apply button. Okay, so what I've done is I added some layers. I copied the fins from this layer and pasted it on the mask layer. I applied the mask material on there. And now let's get ready to draw the, the shadows. And it's just like the other. Uh, we're gonna go to draw mode. We're gonna select this, select the shadow material and then draw, let's draw on the shadow. I'm gonna turn this one off for a minute because I wanna see what I'm drawing. So the light is coming from the top and so basically I just have a little bit of a shadow here. I have a little bit of a shadow. Oops, undo. Don't worry if it's not perfectly straight and then the, the rocket should be hitting this just like this and then uh, let's go to sculpt mode smooth let's go through these uh, and smooth these out oh I see I'm getting my fin as well so let's lock this fin all right there it is and I can move it around also if I don't like what I see I can move it around there we go There we go. Maybe a little bit right there. And again, the smooth. Here we go, the next one. Oops. All right, smooth. More right there. That one was easy, it's just almost a straight line. Next one, let's move these out. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to move this over just a little bit of course with the uh, sculpt tool it's easy smooth them out easy boom there it is and now let's get ready to apply that mask go to the shadow layer apply the mask and then select the mask layer, boom. And then let's preview it. And then let's bring down the opacity, same deal, the shadow, bring it down. And let's view everything except for that sketch layer, boom. The body, let's go to object mode 
and there's the there is the shadow on this on this uh, and now the only thing we need to do is maybe add some highlights let's go ahead and add some highlights uh, I'm gonna do it once let's do it on the fins and then I'll do it on the on the on the body and then I'll do it on the window but um, I might speed up the process here uh, again select the fins let's hit tab to edit let's create a new um, layer and this layer let's push it up we'll call it highlights let's create a new material new new not a stroke fill white call it highlights and let's start drawing go to my new layer right there and select the let's go to draw mode select a circle highlights and let's draw a circle here and then return and another little one return and let's do one here long one return and let's do one hmm right about here a thin one return uh, let's uh, go to sculpt mode and F to adjust the brush size and let's push this one let's push this one let's push this one oops I, I can see that I'm affecting I don't want to affect anything but those highlights and let's and now let's uh, rotate these go to edit mode select this one let's rotate it move it select this one let's rotate it R move it well let's rotate it a little less select this one let's uh, move it we'll move it to right about here and select this one let's rotate it and move it right about here uh, all we have to do now is maybe uh, turn down the opacity a bit so that it's not white white uh, and I'm gonna do the same thing for the body and the highlight here on the window it's just a lot of the same thing guys create a new layer create a new material draw the shape edit it and, and then the opacity And there's our highlights. We've got the uh, we've got the shadows, we've got the highlights, uh, and we can we can edit any of this stuff. If I go to the body, if I go to the the shadow um, layer, I can adjust the the intensity. Uh, and there's our finished rocket. Hey guys, that's it. That's the rocket. Uh, in the in the next video, we'll draw the exist the other elements, the the background, the stars, the flag, and the text, and then we'll start animating. Hey guys, thank you. Um, if you like the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, it really does help the channel out. Hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.